Hi, my name is Jeff Harris. I'm the beekeeper here at Hive. Today in this video, we're gonna go over what to expect on an on-site consultation for home theater. Also, in addition, we're gonna discuss the different products that are available at Hive for the home theater, as well as the warranty, as well as the cost. The first thing I'll start with is what to expect when I arrive at the home or one of our designers arrives at your home. We're gonna look at the location. So one of the things we'll need in advance, or we can do while we're there, is get the dimensions of the room, the ceiling height, depth, width, because that's gonna help us provide you with the best information for the screen size and spacing from the front row of seating to the actual screen. There's what they call the throw distance. That is from the front of the projector to the screen. Kind of like if I walk up to a wall with a flashlight, it would be very, very close to the image on the wall, the further I go back, the larger that light would spread. It's exactly the same concept with a projector. The further we go back into the room, the larger the image can be. And we also wanna make sure it's in proportion to the seating. So that front row of seating, it is giving you that large immersive experience that you would get in a movie theater. But again, it's not too large and the image is not too small. The other thing that would help us, that's the location of the electrical outlet in the scene for the projector. So in the ceiling, if that is too close, obviously the image would be too small and we may need to back it up and look at the electrical needs. So again, one of the things that we'll be looking at during this consultation is are we doing any on-wall lighting, any floor lighting with LEDs, where is the electrical outlets in the room? Do we need to add an electrician to the list of trades that we'll need to help us in this project? We'll also discuss what flooring material. You know, we always love absorption, right? So we don't want to necessarily have hardwood floors and tile in a movie theater. But if we do, we'll do other things, whether it's rugs or the different fabric that we'll use in the seating to help absorb some of the sound. In addition to that, that moves on to the wall coverings. So we'll also discuss what are we putting on the walls. We don't wanna have any movie pictures with glass up close to the front of the room where we'll get reflection. So there's many things to consider in that area. We'll also discuss the projector. What is the quality of the projector that you want? 4K, 8K, do you want it to be what they call 16 by nine, which is the aspect ratio like your television? They also have 235 by one, which is what you would see at the actual movie theater. So these are all things that we'll discuss when we're on site. Additionally, one of the big popular things to do is to mount all of the speakers flush in the wall and then come with what we call an acoustically transparent screen to go over the front of those speakers. Many times, we often do these in living rooms or bonus rooms where a client would like a retractable screen. So it comes down over the front of a television. So during the day, they would watch normal TV on a standard 75 or 85 inch TV, but at night they wanna hit movie mode and have a 130 or 150 inch screen come down over the top of it. We call that dinner in a movie. In addition to that, we'll discuss the installation, the timeline that it would take. Again, if we have a simple bonus room or family room that we're putting in a standard surround sound, and a standard surround sound starts at what they call 5.1, meaning three speakers in the front of the room, two speakers behind you in the back of the room, and one subwoofer. That is what they call a 5.1. When you go to a 7.1, that's adding two side surround sound speakers. And it goes up from there, 7.2 with a second subwoofer, we have now Atmos, which is in the ceiling, two or four speakers to give you what we call the height speakers. So with normal surround sound, side to side movement, this actually gives you the height of sound. If a helicopter was taking off from the ground and going up, it gives you the height. So we'll discuss that because that will then be the driver of what receiver we use. We can use a lesser expensive receiver at a 5.1 than you'd have at a full 7.1 with two or four channels of Atmos. So one of the other things we'll discuss when we're on site 
Is this, this equipment gonna be local inside the room or is this gonna be remotely located, the equipment? Meaning it's outside the room in a closet versus a cabinet or shelving inside the actual room. Oftentimes the cost, literally when we look at this in a family room, the cost is gonna be anywhere from about four to $20,000. You look at doing a bonus room, again, you can be down in that $4,000 range and you can push that if you do this with a projector and a screen up to a thirty dollars or $40,000 budget. And then very honestly, the movie theater uh, minimally is around $20,000 and you can scope that all the way up. We've done several uh, in excess of three, four, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 and you can certainly take it higher than that. It's all contingent on the different components that you use inside the room and how much of the scope are we doing. We often work with decorators, designers, or architects if they're the ones that are specking the different products and then we just provide the audio visual and the programming needs. Last thing I'm gonna discuss here is the warranty period. Any of the warranties is different based on the manufacturer. Hive provides a 30-day warranty on the labor itself of the installation. We also then offer service plans thereafter, and that different service plans is contingent on the different speed of service and the time frame. The last thing is the manufacturer's warranty starts anywhere from one year, literally up to some of our speakers have a lifetime warranty. So we can let you know per item, per product, exactly what the manufacturer's warranty is. I hope this helps. We look forward to having one of our designers or myself come to your home and discuss this further. And if you have any questions in advance, please consult the different pages on our website as well as our budget calculator to determine and help dial in the budget for the project. Thank you very much. Look forward to meeting you.